Hey lovelies, welcome to my channel. If we haven't met yet, I'm Kelly. I'm a professional hair and makeup artist and here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. Now today we're here to have a little bit of fun and maybe push ourselves out of our comfort zone. I am very excited to be doing a palette bingo challenge today using the Tiny Marvels palette. Now this is of course the collaboration between Mel Thompson and Sydney Grace. And I did just post my review of this yesterday, so if you would like to see that, please check it out. Now, because this palette has a wide variety of colors, I thought it would be a good one to do this with, and I'm very excited because today I'm actually going to be collaborating with a beautiful friend. So I am doing this video in collaboration with Kara from Beauty and the Frizz, and I'm so excited because this is actually my first collaboration with Kara. And I'm sure you guys have had this happen before, but you like watch one video of a person and you just like, you can really relate to them. And that's how I feel about this beautiful woman. I think, first of all, she's absolutely gorgeous, does some amazing looks with her makeup, but she's just so real and relatable. And I, I really dig that. That's really what I like to watch here on YouTube. And so she's just wonderful. I'm so glad that we could collaborate on this. So I think Kara is the perfect person to do a collab like this with because she's so creative in her eye looks. And I want to make sure that you get to see whatever she creates. And I don't even know yet. We haven't told each other what we've drawn. I haven't seen her finished look yet. So I am also excited to see it, but I wanna make sure that you see it too. So I'm going to link her channel here and I will also link it down in the description bar so you guys can check her out and subscribe because I know you're gonna love her as much as I do. Now, if you're not familiar with Palette Bingo, it's really just a fun way to sort of challenge yourself and do kind of a randomized look. Now, because this palette doesn't have your traditional like five across and five up and down, we just decided to draw names out of a bowl. At least that's what I did. So we decided to do four colors at random. And then I said, if we wanted to, we could use a wild card to help us out or you know add to the look. And if you guys haven't seen this palette before, again, I really recommend checking out my review video. I do swatches of all the colors and do another look for you. So we have a wide variety of shades in here. We have mattes, we have shimmer. So you really could create just about anything. Now I did already draw my colors because I wanted to do them before I did the review video so that I would make sure to do a different look than shades that I was going to draw in palette bingo, if that makes sense. So if you think that this is a fun idea and you're excited to see some experimentation with makeup, don't forget to hit like. I will insert that clip now of drawing my shades and we will get right into it. I've got my bowl here. I just put each of the 15 shades on this slip of paper. Um, by the way, I'm using the back of a Pat McGrath Labs like shipment invoice, so reduce, reuse, recycle. And I'm just gonna draw out four of these. Now, it's funny, I was just messaging Kara because she's already filmed her bingo look here. And we had talked about doing drawing four colors and then having a wild card color that we could choose, like especially if you just draw four mattes or if you draw four shimmers or something to kind of have, and then it would like complete B-I-N-G-O, right? But she said she just used the four colors. So we'll see what I come up with. I told her I might need the handicap against her beautiful eyeshadow looks, but we'll see. I will probably just put a picture up here of the palette for you guys so you can see which ones I draw as we draw them out. So I'm kind of nervous. All right. So the first one is Death Moth. Oh, nice. That's just that like kind of like grungy brownie green. Like it, I feel like it has a little bit more, no walk and stick has more green to it. Um, so it's a little bit more of that like cool toned brown. That'll be great. Actually, I can't think of a single color in here that I, that I wouldn't be okay with getting. I think, um, just looking at the palette, Jewel Bee is the only one that I wouldn't normally like go towards myself in this palette. Like it would probably be the last one that I'd try on my own. You guys, I swear to God, I did not just plan that. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> I got Jewel Bee. So we're doing Death Moth and Jewel Bee. So uh, I don't even know if I just said Jewel Bee is that like, it's pastel to me, but it's also kind of vibrant, if that makes sense, that that like lavender violet color. Okay. <laughs> All right, now we've got BB, which is the beautiful gold color. Doing all the Bs here. And Love Bug. 
And that is the like dusty mauve color. All right. So we can definitely make this work. So I think what's probably gonna help is if we swatch those shades and then get to see them all together. At least I think that's gonna help me because then I can really kind of look at the color story and decide where we wanna go with it. So I'm gonna do that quick. We'll talk a little bit about the shades. So here we have the shades and I realize from this shot right now it looks like my arm is like 19 shades lighter than my face, but I'm just gonna move this here. So hopefully my camera will focus. So we've got this nice gold shade. Um, this is BB and I'm really excited to be playing with this one. I haven't actually worn it yet, so I'm very excited for that. And then we have these two shades. Now this is Love Bug. I love this kind of shade. This is totally up my alley. It was this one. This is Jewel Bee that is really not a color I would ever go towards, but we're gonna have some fun with it. Like I said, we're pushing ourselves out of our comfort zone. And then we have Death Moth. And I really like the shade. It's like one that goes well in so many palettes with so many colors. So I think that'll kind of be our safeguard. Now, I'm still not quite sure where I wanna go with this, but I think we can make this work. Okay, so I'm just gonna look fear straight in the eye and start out with that Jewel B shade because why not? I think that's what we'll start with like in the upper crease. Um, I'm just gonna go through with this almost like tulip shaped brush. This is an M330 from Morphe. And I think that this will just help us like really apply it where we want it or where we think we want it since we don't really know what we're doing. Okay, like I'm actually quite pleasantly surprised it's not as like ning as I thought it might be. Now I'm sure if you wanted it like more zippy, putting it over like a lighter eye primer or you know over a cream shadow or something would totally kick it up. Um, but I'm okay that it's like a little bit softer. I actually think once you blend it out, it's almost, you know, looks a little bit deeper because you lose that like major saturation. All right, boy, you guys, like, now that I have it on, I'm I'm actually really excited about this shade. Like, this is really pretty. It It's not quite as intimidating once it's, like, out of the pan. So, very much liking that. I think I'm gonna go in and deepen up, like, right along the crease with that Love Bug shade, just to kind of, like, give it that, like, almost like a smoky mauve look. Now, my favorite brush to use when I'm working in, like, small, delicate areas, when I still want, like, a little bit of blur is the Sigma E36. This is a great one. It's almost like just a little like tiny fluffer. Um, super nice to have and I have plenty of them in my collection. So I'm just like running that right along the crease and keeping it pretty like low profile. I think I might like do like a half cut crease We'll see. So uh, I'm just trying to like define that edge a little bit more. So if you're coming over from Kara's channel, by the way, I was a little nervous to like even do swatches on my arm because we all know that she is the queen of swatches. I mean, Kara really hasn't been on YouTube that long and here she just like comes along and steals my heart with like a swipe of her hand. I just, I just love her channel and I've had a lot of fun watching all of her videos. But if you are coming from her channel, don't expect the same swatching skills. I'm still working on that. And I feel like I sound like the lady who spends all of her time at a 24 hour diner, like drinking coffee and smoking cigarettes. Um, sorry about that. It is like 1230 at night right now. I really wanted to get this video done and up for you guys. So I'm uh, pulling a late night here. Okay, now I'm sort of wondering if this is starting to get like too Easter eggy, but I hope not. So now I think I'm just gonna like cut the inner like two thirds of the crease and put BB over the top. Other than that, I'm not quite sure where I'm going with this. And I'm using a Sigma F75 brush. This is the actual concealer brush. By the way, when you guys do a cut crease, what is your like favorite product to use like as a base. I really don't love using concealer, but that's what I have on today. And 
I went a little higher, like hoping that I could maybe like give myself really beautiful open eyelids, but at 12.30 at night, it's not happening, but we're just gonna keep going. Hopefully we get enough shiny BB shade on here and no one will know. Now I'm going through with a flat shader. This is the Luxie 245 small shader. Just gonna pack that right on the lid. So I did get a decent bit of fallout from that BB shade, but to be honest, I kind of like packed it on there like an animal, so could kind of be me. I am going to take some of that on a pencil brush and just kind of run it through the inner corner. I don't usually do a cut crease because it's not the greatest on my eye shape, but I figured since we're pushing ourselves out of our like color comfort zones, we might as well just keep pushing. All right, so now I'm going to take a bit of that Death Moth shade and that's gonna be what I use to like blur the edge where that gold meets up. And that's why I didn't like layer over that too much between the gold and the purple because I think I'm gonna end up using this like brown and the purple. Brown, so like Death Moth and Love Bug, kind of like blending those two together to create a little bit of a transition. So now I'm taking a little bit of both like Love Bug and Death Moth to just kind of like smoke this out a little bit. I like how it almost like creates like an antique gold effect as it like blends in with the matte. And that's one thing that I've really found with this palette is like I said in my review, all of these shades are super blendable. Um, you know, sometimes like shades can get really funky colored when you blend them or they just don't build well on each other or they get like really kind of like patchy and weird. Like, but I haven't, I haven't really had that with anything in here yet. So I've been very, very pleased. All right, this isn't turning out to be such a bad look after all, I'm, I'm doing okay. So now I'm just taking that Death Moth shade and running it along the lower lash line. I think I'm gonna end up popping that lightest violet maybe in the middle. Okay, let's start by putting the lightest shade, that Jewel B shade in the middle here. If I have to, I can always like deepen it up with Love Bug, but we'll give this a go. Now normally if I was doing an eye look that's this dramatic, I probably would do my eye makeup first and then my face makeup, but I already had my face makeup done, so we're just being reckless. That's honestly something that doesn't surprise me all that much. So if you are looking to do something that's a little bit more dramatic or you're working a ton with the shimmery shades, especially if you're gonna be like blending them, you may want to consider either using your face makeup afterwards or at least laying down a good dose of translucent setting powder so that when you whisk that away you have a little bit of like a safety net there. All right now I'm just taking a little bit of that Jewel B back up into the top of this look just to emphasize that like pastelliness that we're gonna get right here just to sort of like reflect that. I think we kind of went from like Easter egg to like Mardi Gras but not necessarily in a bad way so I'm going to go ahead and I think this calls for some lashes, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will be right back and we can go over our final thoughts together. All right, here we have the final look. Um, I did just go through with the Thrive Cosmetics uh, Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara, honestly, just cause I know it'll like wipe off easily tonight. I did go through with the KVD Inkwell Liner. Definitely not a huge fan. I got it in a boxy charm, wanted to give it another go, but it will definitely be finding its resting place uh, once I can do a review roundup and update the people that don't see this video. So what do you guys think of this final look? You'll have to let me know in the comments below. Oh, by the way, I am wearing a couple Sydney Grace face items. I have the blush in pink lemonade. This is a really nice, like slightly shimmery, I would say like pinky, blush with almost a tint of violet to it. And then I went through with the same highlighter that I did in my review, but I don't think I ever swatched this. This is a loose highlighter from Sydney Grace. It's from the uh, mystery bag. And this is Sweet Peach. So you guys can see they're very, very pretty. Um, I have to say I'm, I'm pretty happy. Like I pushed myself out of my comfort zone. If anybody wants to pick me up and take me to Mardi Gras, even though I'm months behind, <laughs> but I really, I actually do really like this look. And 
most importantly, I really got over my fear of that Jewel B shade. And I did mention this in my review that, you know, a couple of these brighter shades, you could certainly like mix with another color, like use it almost like a mixing medium to lighten up or soften out a color. So I think that there's a lot that you could do with that shade, even if you're like, okay, I don't think I'm ever gonna wear like straight, like pastel orchid, but I really like this. So thank you guys so much for sticking around with me, playing with some makeup. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like this video. And if you're over here from Kira's channel, I really hope you'll consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of my family on Instagram as well. So if you'd like to follow me there, you can check me out at Keep Beauty Real. So thank you guys so much for hanging out and I'll see you really soon.